In this video, we're going to automate sending actual handwritten notes to your Shopify customers in just a few clicks. I'm David Wax, CEO of Handwritten, and today we're going to walk through our Shopify automation. Ready? Let's get started. Now, before we get going here, you are going to need an account at handwritten.com. So go ahead, go to handwritten and sign up. Simply click the sign up and follow the easy prompts. You'll then need to validate your email and you're good to go. After signing up, you can sign in by clicking the sign in link and you can view all our cards in our system. And we do have hundreds of cards to choose from. However, for this example, we're gonna use a custom card which are available at no additional fee. So you're just gonna click Customizable Cards. You're then gonna customize your card following the prompts. I've actually already done that here. I have a card with a very generic Superstore tagline here on it, which will serve just fine for our example. After I've created the card, we're gonna log into Shopify. In Shopify, you're gonna to need to install our handwritten app, which is very simple. So you simply go to apps, you click app and sales channel settings. Now I already have the app installed, but we're just gonna pretend I don't. And then I'm gonna click Shopify app store. Here you will type in handwritten, you'll click our app, and then you hit install and it's really that easy. After installing it, it will appear here on your app list on the left-hand panel. So we're just gonna go in there, click handwritten, handwritten notes. You will have to log in with your handwritten.com username and password to link it, and then you're good to go. So this is how simple it is. So everything within the Shopify app is a trigger. So we're gonna add a new trigger so you can get a feel. So let's do first order place. This is a very common trigger. You want to send a note of thanks after somebody places their first order with you. So then we're going to just choose the right card. You could choose a general thank you card here, but we've gone through the trouble and we created our own card. So we're going to go to uh, my custom cards right here, and we're going to choose the card we created. And then I'm going to type my thank you note. Dear first name, thank you so much for your order. Now, here it doesn't look that great. I assure you the actual note will look fantastic once it's gone through handwritten. You can see an actual preview of all notes in handwritten.com. Um, so we're just going to finish this up. We appreciate your business and then I'm going to sign it with my signature. Now one thing you can do is you can choose a different handwriting style here. You can even include an insert if you had business cards or coupons on file. You could do that here as well. Then we're going to save this trigger. It's saved and then if you want to add a different one we can add one here too. So let's say we want to send something when somebody purchases a specific item. So here the item is the red wagon. That's all I have. So I'm going to choose that one in my sample store. Again, I'm going to choose my superstore card and I'm going to say we hope you enjoy the red, the red wagon. And then again, I'm going to sign it and make sure it's enabled and hit save. And that is it. Now, anytime somebody places an order of that red wagon, they will get a card or on their first purchase, they're going to get a card. You can play around with all the triggers here to see all the different possibilities you have. So lifetime dollar purchase threshold, if they spend over a hundred dollars over the course of their life, or single purchase threshold of $100, you can set that up too. You can create as many thresholds as you want and they'll all trigger as needed. One thing to make sure of is to set your return address. Without a return address, we can't send your notes. So just be sure to do that too. 
One more thing for you. In handwritten.com, if we go back into the platform, let's say you're not ready to actually send the notes. You want to see how they look when they enter the system. You can actually click your name in the top right, go to integrations down here, and then turn on test mode. And when test mode is on, the system will try to process the transaction, but it won't actually process it. It'll just make sure it can, and it won't actually send the notes. It will just create a dummy note for you to view in past orders in the system. So it's very, very simple to use. And um, if you call us, we're happy to assist you at any point in time. Now, all notes through Shopify will be billed to your Shopify account unless you have prepaid credit with handwritten or you subscribe to a handwritten plan. Handwritten plans are a great way to save money. You just go to handwritten.com, you choose subscribe. I'm already subscribed, so I just have this little badge here. I select the plan and then I get the value of that discount. What's great about subscriptions is they roll over. If you don't use the credits, they'll keep rolling over month after month while you have the subscription. It really is a very cost-effective way to send handwritten notes. We hope you enjoyed this video and see how powerful and easy our new Shopify integration really is. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe and check out all the other great features of Handwritten at handwritten.com. Right on.